Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com, and in this video, we are going to review the Bank of America Travel Rewards Visa credit card. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel right here if you have not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So, the Bank of America Travel Rewards card is a no annual fee travel rewards card, hence the name. And we are going to take a look at some of the details and tell you who it could be good for, if anyone. Now, one of the pieces of advice I often give when I talk about travel rewards credit cards is the fact that most no annual fee travel cards really are not that great of an idea because the rewards you get oftentimes are not as good as you might get from the best cash back credit cards out there, which just allow you to use that money very flexibly. And so for most people, if they want a travel rewards card and they spend enough for it to be uh, worthwhile or they travel enough for it to be worthwhile, then oftentimes you're going to want a travel credit card that actually has an annual fee that has greater rewards options and perks attached to it. So in this video, we're gonna look at the Bank of America card and see if I am proven right or not. So the Bank of America Travel Rewards card is a no annual fee credit card that gives you 1.5 points per dollar on everything that you purchase with the card. No specific purchasing categories to get any enhanced rewards. 1.5 points on everything. The only exception, and this is something that Bank of America for whatever reason doesn't even put in the uh, sort of main area of their marketing page for this card, is that you can get three points per dollar if you use the card to book travel through the Bank of America Travel Center, which essentially is just Expedia with the Bank of America logo stamped onto it. So if you use that, you can get three points per dollar on those purchases. Otherwise, 1.5 points per dollar. There's a bonus opportunity on this card of 25,000 points if you spend $1,000 with the card in the first three months of having it. No foreign transaction fees on this card, so you can use it outside of the United States and not pay any extra. In terms of other travel features, there really aren't any. You're not getting any kind of baggage insurance or trip delay insurance or anything of that nature like you might expect with some other travel cards, especially ones that have annual fees. And there aren't any transfer partners, so you can't take your points and put them into an airline frequent flyer program or a hotel program or anything like that, unlike some other travel cards that do have those kind of partners. So this one is about those points and using them toward travel. All right, let's talk about how we are going to redeem those points. The way that makes the most sense is to redeem them toward travel purchases. And the way that works is your points are used as a statement credit against purchases that you have made on the card. So if you have purchased a flight that was $250 with this Bank of America Travel Rewards card, you could take 25,000 points that you had accrued, each one of them being worth a penny, and you could use those as a statement credit against that $250 flight that you took. So 25,000 points equals 250. It basically cancels out that $250 flight, and that's how it works each point being worth a penny. Now, there are other options. You could take cash instead as a redemption. However, that wouldn't make much sense because each point that you have is only going to be worth six tenths of a cent if you redeemed for cash. So those same 25,000 points would only get you $150 in cash that you could put into a Bank of America or a Merrill Lynch account that you have. And then there also are gift cards as a possibility as well. Those aren't going to give you a much better redemption either. The redemptions are gonna vary. But the way this card works is they want you to put those points against the travel that you've done with the card. So is this card any good? Well, let's look at those features real quick one more time and talk about how they stack up to what else is on the market. No annual fee, obviously that is desirable. The 1.5 points per dollar is equivalent to 1.5% in rewards when used toward travel. Now there are many 1.5% cash back credit cards on the market that obviously are more flexible because you can use that cash back toward anything that you want, where with this card you can only use it toward travel. Now the bonus on this card, that 25,000 points, which would equal $250 in travel is very competitive compared to other no annual fee cards on the market. So in the first year, that's obvious. 
obviously a very good thing. No foreign transaction fees. That is a positive. There are other cards on the market that have that, including the PayPal Cashback MasterCard that gives 2% cashback on all of your purchases. However, not a bad feature. And that three points per dollar on the Bank of America Travel Center that is run by Expedia is a little something extra too, but hardly a game changer. Now there is one potential aspect to this card that could make it a game changer, and that is if you already have a deep relationship with Bank of America and or Merrill Lynch, because Bank of America offers what they call the Preferred Rewards Program, and if you have a lot of money with them, you can get a boost on all of those point totals that I just talked about. So if you have $20,000 in Bank of America uh, savings or Merrill Lynch accounts, all those together, if you have $20,000 or more, you'll get a 25% boost on your points. So that 1.5 points per dollar would go up to 1.875 points per dollar. Now, if you had 50,000 or more with Bank of America, you'd get a 50% boost, and then you're up to 2.25 points per dollar, or a 2.25% reward. If you had over $100,000 with Bank of America, you would get a 75% reward, and that takes you up to 2.625 points per dollar, or 2.625% in reward. So obviously, if you already have a deep relationship relationship with Bank of America, well then, this is a card that makes a whole lot more sense because you can get a very nice return on it. Would it be worth it to park that much money with Bank of America just to get these rewards? No, not really, but if you're already there, then it does make sense, and this card then does have outsized value when compared to other cards on the market. Otherwise, though, you're essentially looking at a card that is giving you the equivalent of a 1.5% cashback card, good in the first year with that nice bonus, but it doesn't really stack up very well, especially against cashback cards that are more flexible in how you use the rewards that you get. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, I'd love to hear them in the comments section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching, and as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye.